dosimetry is widely used to obtain the relative dose distribution of electron and photon beam in water, plastic and in homogeneous phantom. It is commonly used in phantom because of high spatial resolution, short treatment time and 2D information. Next is the type of film dosimeter. First is the radiographic film. A radiographic film consists of a transparent film base made up of cellulose acetate or polyesterine, coated with an emulsion containing very small crystal of silver bromide. The emulsion consists of silver halide crystal suspended in gelatin. It contains 95% silver bromide and 5% silver iodide. It is widely used for relative dosimetry of external radiation treatment beam in the mega voltage energy range. This film is used because of its unrivaled spatial resolution, low cost and wide accessibility. This image shows a film batch dosimeter that is widely used as a personal dosimeter. Working principle First is exposure. When the film is exposed to radiation, latent image is created. Next is development. This process converts latent image to black metallic silver by a chemical development. And the last step is fixing. This is done to dissolve out unexposed silver halide crystal, leaving a clear film. The metallic silver, which is not affected by the fixer, causes darkening of the film. Therefore, the degree of blackening of an area of the film depends on the amount of free silver deposited and on the radiation energy absorbed. This is the Ganymod theory of latent image formation. A is photon absorption. Absorption of light photon by bromide ion frees the extra electron. B is electron trapping. Electron get trapped by the sensitive spot and cause the sensitive spec to become negatively charged. C releasing of halide ion. Due to the trapped electron at sensitive spot, halide ion is released. D is silver ion migration. Positive silver ion is attracted to the spot and is neutralized when combined with the electron. This will cause depositing of black metallic silver. E is repeated phantom absorption and silver ion pileup. Process is repeated as more photon reach the grain to cause more silver atom to be deposited. F is the formation of latent image. Due to the repeated process, the latent image is formed. Latent image is invisible image produced by exposure of film. Next is radiochromic film. Radiochromic film is a new type of film used for radiotherapy dosimetry. This film consists of an ultra thin, colorless, and radio sensitive leukodye pounded onto a thick mylar base. This film has a nearly tissue equivalent composition. This film is made up of 9% hydrogen, 60.6% .6 carbon, 11.2% nitrogen, and 19.2% oxygen. Radiochromic film is screenless, therefore it has a very high resolution compared to radiographic film. This film is self-developing, so it does not require developer nor fixer. Radiochromic dosimetry film can be measured using transmission densitometer, film scanner, and spectrophometer. This image shows the radiographic film and the scanner. The blue-greenish part is the exposed part of the film. Working principle First is the exposure to radiation. When the film is irradiated, the structural characteristic of crystal-sensitive element is modified. This then causes polymerization process in the monomer of the sensitive element to occur. When the active component is exposed to radiation, it reacts to form a blue-colored polymer with absorption maxima around 636 and 585 nanometer. The exposed film appears green because of the presence of yellow marker dye in the active layer. The radiochromic film coloration is caused by diacetylene, a type of crystalline polyacetylene that is very sensitive to ionizing radiation. This diagram shows the comparison of radiographic and radiochromic film. 
The major difference of this film is the position of the active layer and polyester base. For radiographic film, the polyester base is sandwiched between two active layers. However, for radiochromic film, the active layer is placed on top of the polyester base. So for the symmetric properties, we are going to look at response and energy, dose rate dependence, image resolution, film calibration, and also sensitivity. Response of a dosimetry system M over Q is a function of a radiation beam quality which is energy. Dosimetry systems are calibrated at a specified beam quality and used in wide energy range. Hence, energy dependence which is variation of the response of a dosimetry system with a radiation quality needs correction. Ideally, the energy response should be flat. Energy correction should be included in the determination of the quantity. Most commercial RCF have lower atomic number that is inherently energy dependent compared to older radiographic film. Older model of RCF which is for example MD55 and HS have low Z and show low energy response to KV photons and then higher energy photons. First generation EBT have very low energy respondents over KB to MV photon energy range. Addition of minor amount of moderate Z elements, for example chloride, in atomic composition of EBT boosts the absorption of KB photon, making it lesser energy dependence. EBT film have energy dependence of 7.7% for energy range of 50 kbp to 10 mv as compared to newer GAF chromic EBT2 with only 6.5% energy dependent for the same energy range. So this is a study from Arjomandi et al in year 2020. EBT2 was tested for energy dependence over a range of energy beams of KVS rays, cesium 137 cobalt 60 gamma rays, MVS rays for 6 and 18 MV, and proton beams for 100 and 250 mega electron volt. From the result, negligible energy dependence was found with a global spread of plus minus 4.5% for all energy beams. Another study was from Getanda et al. in year 2015. The CT absorbed dose calibration curve of EBT3 was obtained by four effective energy, which were 30, 40, 50, and also 60 kV. There was an energy dependent less than 1%, which is approximately 0.74%. So, they concluded that dosimetry using radiochromic film is valid for effective energy in the diagnosis range. Integrated response of a dosimetry system is measured by the integrating system. The measured dosimetric quantity should be independent of the rate of that quantity. Ideal dosimeter should have dose rate independent. The response of a dosimetry system M over Q at two different dose rate, which is dQ over dt1 and dQ over dt2, should remain constant. A study from Ring, Witkin and Jeffrey in 2007 was done for EBT dose rate dependence. The dose is delivered in range of 5 to 10 cycle gray with dose rates varying between 16 and 520 cycle gray per minute. The OD measurement for a given irrespective of the dose rate used was done. The dose rate dependent was found to be approaching 1% with the standard deviation of 4.5%. Another study was from Twerk and Safmania in 2013 for the effect of different dose rate on the optical density of EBT3. The dose rate was compared for 50 and 100 cycle gray per minute for doses of 50, 100 and 500 cycle gray. The dose rate dependent was within experimental uncertainty of clinical film. 
It was concluded that EBT3 has dose rate independent of 3% for a wide dose rate respective to the study dose. RCF have accuracy in measuring absorbed dose, thus maintaining good resolution. Theoretically, limit of the resolution depends on the dimension of the activated molecule and the composition of film. Special resolution is determined by the resolution in the scanner. Two ways for film readout are being a point densitometer and use multiple detection system using charge couple device. Pixel size of a given scanner is one of main aspects of using these devices. Special resolution of scan system is defined by 1. Physical resolution 2. Light source size 3. Scattering effects of a film 4. Size of film 5. Correct bit level of data acquisition system and 6. Other sources of omitted light within the scanners. A study from Ferreria, Lopez and Capella in 2009 was done on quantified corrections and parameters needed to get accurate dosimetry with minimum uncertainties. It was done using GF chromic EBT film and fully assessed performance of Epson expression 10,000 SL scanner. The resolution of scanner was 50, 75, 150 and 300 dpi were tested while turning off all filter. From the result, there was no significant difference in calibration curve were observed with vary of scanner parameters. It was concluded that 75 dpi resolution was selected as default to compromise between image resolution and noise. In film calibration, theoretically, radiochromic film can be calibrated by any radiation field which absorbed dose rate is known. However, practically, limiting criteria only enable the calibration of particular film by particular field. For example, absorbed dose rate should be able to cover the range of anticipated absorbed dose rate throughout the time the film is calibrated. In medical applications, common calibration field is produced by therapylinic with the order of dose rate is 0.05 gray per second. This order of dose rate is sufficient for more sensitive film models such as example MD55 and EBT but not for less sensitive film which is for example HD810. Calibration of RCF can be done using large well characterized uniform radiation field. The film is placed on the center of large photon beam, for example, 40 by 40 cm at depth of interest, which is preferably equal or more than 5 cm. The characteristic of the beam can be determined by ionization chamber to allow direct film calibration in terms of absolute dose within the dose range of interest. The net optical density is obtained by subtracting the fog from the measured optical density. A study from Niru Matrade et al. was done for film calibration of RCF MD55. The calibration curve is the relationship between absorbed dose and film response. From the study, they found that the slope of calibration curve decreased as doses increased. Another study was done for the calibration of EBT3 film. The study was done for photon with energy of 70, 100 and 300 kvp and for cobalt 60 in the dose range of 0.5 to 4 gray. From the graph, it can be said that response ratio which is Rx increases when dose increases.
Sensitivity is minimum ECMA required to produce a signal output which is charge or current. High sensitivity means high charge produced for the same ECMA, thus producing higher ECMA solution and detectability. From the calibration curve, film response to dose and vice versa can be provided. The change in film response per unit absorbed dose can be represented by a single number for a net optical up to 1.0 which is here defined as film average sensitivity. The materials responsible for radiochromic film coloration is a particular type of crystalline polyethylene that have characteristics which are 1. It shows excellent sensitivity to almost any type of ionizing radiation such as photons, electrons and charged particles over a wide range of energy and dose. 2. Very low sensitivity to neutrons and 3. Almost totally insensitive to room light. A study was done from Brown et al. for net optical density versus dose for EPT3 film. The film was calibrated at 25kV, 30kV, 35kV, and also 4MV. The film shows weak energy dependence between 25kV and 4MV. They also found that the relative sensitivity from 50 to 200 circle gray agrees to within 3% of unity for all three beam energies. Clinical application of firm dosimetry. First, for in vivo dose measurement for total irradiation radiotherapy. Secondly, proton therapy dose verification. Thirdly, quality assurance and dosimetric verification of 3D conformal radiotherapy. Firstly, for in vivo dose measurement for total irradiation radiotherapy. In radiation oncology, total body irradiation TBI is generally part of the treatment regimen for treating systematic cancers such as bone marrow transplant and are usually given with a 6 MV photon beam at an extended source to surface distance. The goal of the TBI technique is to deliver a uniform dose to the entire body with no more than 10% dose heterogeneity in reference to the dose to the prescription point and some selected parts of the body such as lungs and kidneys can be partially shielded depending on the protocol use the extended SSD, the larger field size, usually maximum available field size of the LINAC and the lower dose rate and the use of a spoiler to increase the phase dose make the TBI dosimetry a challenging task. The radiochromic film design for the measurement of absorbed dose of high energy photon beams and is particularly attractive for IMRT dosimetry. It also has a potential application as an in vivo dosimeter in TBI dosimetry. They are easy to handle and flexible in shape to fit the patient's body contour. Firm is able to provide accurate results to evaluate the patient dose uniformity with less than 75% variation from the prescription dose. Therefore, it is feasible to use the EBT firm for dose validation with the TBI technique. Image on the right shows the setup of radiochromic firm on the Phantom for vivo dose measurement. For, for total irradiation radiotherapy. And uh, below image shows the graph chromic firm pills and TLDs covered with a bolus. Next, proton therapy dose verification. 
Radiochromic film can also be advantageous for proton dose therapy because of its high spatial resolution. MD55 film dosimetry can be used for precise profile measurements in clinical proton beams. Film can be placed perpendicular to the beam axis or can be tilted away from the beam axis to a small angle. The MD55 film can also be used to measure complex dose distributions in an irradiated phantom, thus enabling verification of dose delivery of proton bright peak stereotactic radio surgery with multiple non coplana beam. High sensitivity gaffchromic TM film type MD55 can be used for dosimetry verification of multiple beam proton radiation therapy. The film provides appropriate spatial resolution and requires doses on the order of 50 gray for, for plus 3% precision. This dose value is still considered to be a somewhat high for dosimetric measurements. Thirdly, quality assurance and dosimetric verification of 3D conformal radiotherapy. Radiochromic and radiographic films are widely used for radiation dosimetry due to the advantage of high spatial resolution and two-dimensional dose measurement. Radiochromic EBT2 film can be used in combination with a micro tax scan maker flatbed scanner for the dosimetry verification of a 3D conformal radiotherapy treatment. Radiochromic film dosimetry requires a very consistent procedure during calibration and measurement, film digitization, and film evaluation in order to achieve high precision and accuracy in radiotherapy quality assurance and dose verification work. When using the film dosimetry, one should take into account the scanner reproducibility and the uncertainty required for radiation dosimetry. The use of EBT2 film in conjunction with the azil CT image of the anthropomorphic phantom allows the evaluation of the location of dose discrepancies between the EBT2 measured dose distribution and TPS predicted dose distribution. Image A show the eclipse treatment plan showing the delineated PTV and organ at risk. And okay, the B image show ABT2 firm placed on the anthropomorphic phantom in the transverse plane. And C shows the irradiated ABT2 firm. Now for my part. I will be presenting about the future directions of the film dosimetry. So, for the film dosimetry, there are three aspects that I need to highlight. Which is the first is the real-time use of the radiochromic films. Second is the radiochromic film will be used as a 3D dosimeter. And finally, the use of the film dosimeter as a personal dosimeter. The radiochromic film have several appealing features such as reliability, accuracy, ease of use and low cost. They can provide values of those only after the exposure of the films to radiation. However, there is an innovative methodology for the real-time reading of the radiochromic films which is proposed by some specific applications. Based on the opto-electronic instrumentation that make use of an optical fiber probe, for the determination of optical changes of the film produced by the radiation and allows the measurement of those with high degree of precision and accuracy. The diagram at the side shows the schematics of the experimental apparatus 
employed for the real-time reading of the retrocomic film or RCF. It consists of an optical fiber bundle with six illuminating fibers positioned on the sides of the bundle and one light collecting fiber in the center of the RCF, a light source, and a spectrum analyzer connected to a computer for data analysis. The choice of the best spectrum material can affect the integration time of the spectrometer. This parameter is fundamental, being related to the sensitivity of the metal. It determines the minimum amount of the time in which the spectrometer can detect sensitive changes of the light. The materials can be plastic such as ABS or Teflon, while the bundle of all the optical fibers can be made of different materials such as stainless steel, plastics which are less, less scattering with ionization radiation. The real-time dosimetry of the RCF can be performed by monitoring the dose from the remote position with an optical fiber probe, exploiting the potential of optical fibers such as micrometric thickness, low attenuation coefficient, and no interaction with the electromagnetic fields. With the use of increasingly complex and conformal treatment techniques such as volumetric modulator arc therapy, OVMED, stereostatic body radiotherapy, and stereostatic radio surgery, the three dimensional 3D dosimeters are valuable tools for verifying the commissioning of treatment planning and delivery systems. The 3D dosimeters are particularly useful for verifying the commissioning of treatment planning and delivery systems, especially with the ever-increasing implementation of complex and conformal therapy techniques such as PMAT itself. The radiochromic film are self-developing, high resolution and nearly tissue equivalent dosimeters with limited energy and dose weight dependence. These films have been designed specifically for use in external beam therapy applications. The radiochromic films can be easily extended from 2D to 3D reference dosimetry systems by embedding or stacking these sheets of films between the water equivalent materials designed to either simulate the ideal geometrical conditions or even in homogeneous human-like phantoms. With the development of these more sensitive EBT films, the 3D measurements of the external beam dose distribution may be feasible. And finally, the use of the radio comic film as a personal dosimeter. So, these radiochromic films are organic-based dyes with specialized features, including automatic change in color upon irradiation. The changes in optical density can be realized automatically by vision without the need of any chemical processes or equipment. The radiochromic film can also measure dose as little as 2 centigrade, which falls in the range of annual occupational exposure. They can also be produced commercially in affordable, in affordable and competitively prices against the radiographer films. This usability of the radiography film was found to be favored in medical radiation dosimetry for diagnostic and therapeutic purposes by the medical physicists. Many radiologists, cardiologists, and medical physicists use radiography films for reduction of patient skin dose, whereas cancer oncologists use it for quality improvements of the treatment planning procedures. The usability of the radiochromic films as a personal dosimeter is recommended because they have the ability in spontaneous detection of change of color which can be considered as a useful real-time sensitive occupation personal dosimetry system. 
This video coming film will be packaged in a room like handling plastic bags with a window that can allow the radiation induced exposure. These are the technical features of the radio comic film EBT2 which can be used as a personal transmitter. The first is the dose range is can be in the range of 160 gray to 40 gray. It has a near tissue equivalent, has an active layer incorporate yellow dye, can be handled in a room like the developments can be in real time as there is no post exposure treatment. The density change stabilizes rapidly after the exposure. The energy dependence is below 10% in response to the difference from 60 kV to mega voltage range. This also has a water resistance and they are stable temperature up to 60 degrees Celsius. So here's the example of the use of radio as the personal dosimeter.